In statistical physics and mathematics, percolation theory describes the behavior of connected clusters in a random graph. The applications of percolation theory to material science and other domains are discussed in the article Percolation. Introduction A representative question is as follows. Assume that some liquid is poured on top of some porous material. Will the liquid be able to make its way from hole to hole and reach the bottom? This physical question is modeled mathematically as a three-dimensional network of n times n times n vertices, usually called sites, in which the edge or bonds between each two neighbors may be open with probability p or closed with probability 1p, and they are assumed to be independent. Therefore, for a given p, what is the probability that an open path exists from the top to the bottom? The behavior for large n is of primary interest. This problem, called now bond percolation, was introduced in the mathematics literature by Broadbent and Hammersley, and has been studied intensively by mathematicians and physicists since then, in a slightly different mathematical model for obtaining a random graph. A site is occupied with probability p or empty with probability 1p. The corresponding problem is called site percolation. The question is the same. For a given p, what is the probability that a path exists between top and bottom? Of course the same questions can be asked for any lattice dimension. As is quite typical, it is actually easier to examine infinite networks than just large ones. In this case the corresponding question is, does an infinite open cluster exist? That is, is there a path of connected points of infinite length through the network? By Kolmogorov 01 law, for any given p, the probability that an infinite cluster exists is either 0 or 1. Since this probability is an increasing function of p, there must be a critical p below which the probability is always 0 and above which the probability is always 1. In practice, this criticality is very easy to observe, even for n as small as 100. The probability of an open path from the top to the bottom increases sharply from very close to 0 to very close to 1 in a short span of values of p. In some cases pc may be calculated explicitly. For example, for the square lattice z2 in two dimensions, pc equals one half for bond percolation, a fact which was an open question for more than 20 years and was finally resolved by Harry Keston in the early 1980s. See Keston. A limit case for lattices in many dimensions is given by the beta lattice, whose threshold is at pc equals one for a coordination number z. For most infinite lattice graphs, PC cannot be calculated exactly. Universality The universality principle states that the value of PC is connected to the local structure of the graph while the behavior of clusters below, at, and above PC are invariant with respect to the local structure, and therefore, in some sense are more natural quantities to consider. This universality also means that for the same dimension independent of the type of the lattice or type of percolation the fractal dimension of the clusters at PC is the same. Phases Subcritical and supercritical The main factor in the subcritical phase is exponential decay. That is, when p less than pc, the probability that a specific point is contained in an open cluster of size r decays to zero exponentially in r. This was proved for percolation in three and more dimensions by Menchikov and independently by Eisenman and Barsky. In two dimensions, it formed part of Keston's proof that pc equals one half. The dual graph of the square lattice z2 is also the square lattice. It follows that, in two dimensions, the supercritical phase is dual to a subcritical percolation process. This provides essentially full information about the supercritical model with d equals 2. The main result for the supercritical phase in three and more dimensions is that, for sufficiently large n, there is an infinite open cluster in the two-dimensional slab z2 times 0 n d minus 2. This was proved by Grimmett and Marstrand. 
in two dimensions with p less than one half, there is with probability one a unique infinite closed cluster. Thus the subcritical phase may be described as finite open islands in an infinite closed ocean. When p greater than one half just the opposite occurs, with finite closed islands in an infinite open ocean. Critical the model has a singularity at the critical point p equals pc believed to be of power law type. Scaling theory predicts the existence of critical exponents, depending on the number d of dimensions, that determine the class of the singularity. When d equals 2 these predictions are backed up by arguments from conformal fields theory and Schramm-Lohner evolution, and include predicted numerical values for the exponents. Most of these predictions are conjectural except where the number d of dimensions satisfies either d equals 2 or d19. They include, there are no infinite clusters. The probability that there is an open path from some fixed point to a distance of r decreases polynomially, i.e., is on the order of r alpha for some alpha alpha does not depend on the particular lattice chosen, or on other local parameters. It depends only on value of the dimension d. Alpha d decreases from d equals 2 until d equals 6 and then stays fixed. Alpha 6 equals minus 1 alpha 2 equals minus 5 48 The shape of a large cluster in two dimensions is conformally invariant. See Grimmett. In dimension 19, these facts are largely proved using a technique known as the lace expansion. It is believed that a version of the lace expansion should be valid for seven or more dimensions, perhaps with implications also for the threshold case of six dimensions. The connection of percolation to the lace expansion is found in Hara and Slade. In dimension 2, the first fact is proved for many lattices using duality. Substantial progress has been made on two-dimensional percolation through the conjecture of oddage SRAM that the scaling limit of a large cluster may be described in terms of a SRAM loner evolution. This conjecture was proved by Smirnov in the special case of site percolation on the triangular lattice. Different models the first model studied was Bernoulli percolation. In this model all bonds are independent. This model is called bond percolation by physicists. A generalization next was introduced as the Fortua and Caseleen random cluster model, which has many connections with the Ising model and other POTS models. Bernoulli percolation on complete graphs is an example of a random graph. The critical probability is p equals 1 n. Directed percolation, which has connections with the contact process. First passage percolation. Invasion percolation. Percolation with dependency links was introduced by Parshani A.AL. Opinion model. 